Hi guys, uh, I'm injured. I've pulled my hamstring pretty badly. I was crapping about on a photo shoot the other day and my hamstring literally went ping. So uh, I'm tired today, feel, feel rough and I'm injured. I was moping around for the first sort of like day or two, uh, but now I've just got to get in and, and get any sort of work done possible. I can't really do anything with my hammy. I'm gonna have to do like isometric holds and that, but I can, I've got the rest of my body still functions. So uh, we've got to go and train. I'm always gobbling off about like, you know, you've got to train, you've got to push through and stuff. So now it's my chance to prove to myself that I'm not just uh, a talker, but I've actually got to go and uh, <laughs> put the work in even though I can't be bothered. So uh, let's go. So what's the th first thing you're gonna do? I haven't got that far, I literally thought, get myself down to the gym and then just sort of see what happens. I think I can bike a little bit. I might do a little bit of a wad, like an adapted wad that doesn't affect my hamstring. Basically, the, the big thing I don't want is uh, to aggravate my hammy. So I'll do a little bit of a wad to wake myself up uh, and then I'll probably just go next door, do some weights. There's loads of weakness areas I need to work on. So I need to work on like uh, pulling, pulling strength, uh, push push strength so like bench press um, sh my overhead strength for uh, Olympic lifting needs to massively improve so I can go and bang out those like dumbbell stuff but uh, I'll do a wad first uh, you can jump in with me and then, uh, when people pull their hamstring one of the first things they want to do is like oh stretch it out and that but you imagine you've already pulled pulled that muscle. You're going to make it far worse by just um, put by stretching it. So one thing one of the things you can start doing after a day or two, just like let it recover at first, is isometric holds. So you're going to bring your heels up close to your bum, drive up your glutes as far as you can, and hold this position for sort of like five ten seconds, and then rest. If you feel like that's too easy, you can bring your uh, heels a bit further away from you and do it again. But for me there, that's too much right now because this is like a fresh injury. So I bring it in, but eventually you want to be able to sort of, oh, even that. Um, eventually you want to be able to do this at quite like a long range of, of, the, um, of the muscle, like the end range of the muscle. But for now, this, this for me will work. So just, it's freaking boring. I feel like a 40 year, 40 year old woman do, teaching Pilates, but um, this is the start of rehab and it's better than just moping about at home. Why right, how are you doing this with me? No <laughs> Huh? No. no, you definitely are. I didn't plan for this oh, today. Yeah, I'm a broken RG. <laughs> I just need someone with me to push me on. Oh. Right, fine, let's do it. We're just uh, waiting on Haley to finish. Been here waiting for about two hours now. You. Today, obviously, our video is about what do we do when we're injured? Do we just wrap or do we uh, do we crack on? Keith, Keith was a former Royal Marines commando um, and was blown up really badly in Iraq. Keith, what did that look like coming back from yeah. no. that? It's difficult initially. You think you're going to just bounce back, but for me, being told that it's going to be hard was my main motivation. Because yeah. I know I wanted to get back to fitness. I weren't going to accept 
sort of that you know it's going to take you two years three years to get back so you push them at first it's a million miles away but then eventually you'll get back to where you want to be if you just dig deep and don't be told by anyone as long as it's not like you know completely yeah you've got no chance you're dead. Is, if you've got if you've got a foot in the game then then you're just going to keep going until you get back you know when you're like darkest point with that like you you know you've been rehabbing for two months or whatever and just like can't see any light at the end of the tunnel well yeah i did have i was i had there uh, with my injuries being sort of a uh, nerve like a lot of the nerves are severed so uh, for 18 months i couldn't lift my foot and lift my hands and that was hard because you don't know if you're gonna get it back do you know what i mean so you still have to be hopeful you still have to believe the doctor said your nerves can regenerate but you don't know whether it's gonna come back yeah. when you start having some glimmers of it's coming back that's where you've just got to grab it and just keep training keep pushing uh, and eventually slowly surely as long as you don't give in you'll eventually get back to where you want to be uh, or you know as far as you possibly can but there was no way i was going to have a little bit left that yeah. i just couldn't be asked dragging out yeah i was going to make sure i could get back to it and now i'm almost back to you know a few issues with me sensory stuff with me like but i'm almost back to where i want to be yeah and you also batter everyone in although team. although I, I still want to be where i was when i was 21 yeah. i'm still chasing that so i'm still chasing that now even if it's nothing to do with injury it's yeah. like your mindset really so don't listen to him when he says he's not back fully because he's freaking he's a beast and he beasts everyone in his in his workouts and that so he's just being humble well whatever i still want more <laughs> Obviously that workout there today is um, not even touching the sides really, but rather than just sort of moping about and, and that, like we said before, just want to want to do something and keep ticking over. One of the cool things uh, that, that we can look into as well is if I, if I work on that like, hamstring development in the one that's uh, okay, there is some research um, suggesting that it will still benefit the, the hurt hamstring. So there's lots of things I can do and work around. The biggest thing I want to sort of talk about in this video, obviously talking to Keith and that, is just if you get injured or you, you lose that motivation or whatever it is, you just 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 get yourself, pull yourself through it. You know, I feel really rubbish at the moment because I, I, I was in a good position with my weightlifting. We've got a military prep weekend this weekend, so the timing's really wrong. But I've got a decision to make. Do I mope through the whole injury or do I, you know, do I still improve and work on areas that are, I'm weak in? Uh, and, and actually progress in some, in some other areas. So the, the choice is yours, the choice is always yours. And um, the Royal Marines mindset and what I've been taught from a younger age is uh, you just freaking crack on and do it with the right attitude.